Hey everyone, Turing Hacker here, and something a little different for you today. So, just tonight, I ended up buying a new camera stand for my webcam. And I just wanted to take a minute just to go over, you know, if it's actually a good camera stand or not. Just do sort of a little mini review on it. So, uh, why don't I show you what I'm currently working with, and you can see what I'm talking about, that I do need a different camera stand. So, uh, one sec, quick jump cut. So as you can see, my current setup's not really made for this size of camera stand, at least the one I have right now. have my microphone right here, just fine. See the screen without problems. However, the actual camera stand and camera itself are kind of up in the middle of nowhere. Uh, much, much taller than I actually need, and I actually have to look up to see it. So kind of creates problems, and I'm hoping this next one, because I can adjust the height, is going to work quite a bit better. So. We will jump on back over and continue the review. Yeah, so jump cut back. Okay, so that was it, what I have currently for a camera stand. My other alternative is actually this little tiny thing, which uh, barely even holds the camera up. I do use it for occasional shots where I'm able to set something on like a countertop or something, but other than that, it's fairly short. Where this one is quite a bit larger, as you can see. So, Hopefully this will work loads better. So, grab the scissors, which I of course forgot to put over by me, and just open this thing up and see what we got. So, the idea with this one is that, as you can see by the pictures, it's supposed to be able to wrap around tree branches and around poles and adjust the height and all the other stuff in the world. So, it's made by Targus. Uh, it's the Gripton Pro XL flexible tripod for cameras and camcorders. So, should work just fine for a webcam. Has the same pivot in the bottom of it. Uh, let's see, anything applicable in here? Basically, that they're going to achieve the perfect shot, and oh, it's going to be fantastic. And there's a bunch of levers and all that stuff. But the really odd thing is, all these can be like manipulated differently. So. We shall try it out and see what happens. Okay, so... I was afraid that maybe these would like slide around quite a bit, but uh, they seem to actually hook in pretty well. I'm not really sure if they'll stay with like weight on them, but... As you can see, I'm, I'm actually having to apply quite a bit of force to actually make these move at all. So... You have the screw here. Not really sure what this little turn thing's for. Oh, okay, so you can move this part around and then lock it back into place. I think. <laughs> what? What's it? Do? Okay, what's this for then? Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, so this is for this outer ring part. And then this is the, ah, that's the lock-into-place portion. So, yeah. Okay, well, one sec, I will get my webcam. And we will attempt to plug this thing in. And then, of course, it, you know, goes around it <laughs> repeatedly as you're trying to fiddle with the cord and whatnot. Okay, so, there we go. Now, the idea is that you'll be able to put it on any surface at any height. And sure enough, you can. A little off-center that way, but... Uh, these feet do move quite a bit, though. So I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It's just more of an observation, really. So yeah, can definitely put it at a shorter height than what it's made for. At the same time, we can raise it up and put it up a little higher. So that's that's a cool thing. Uh, if we do have a flatter surface, that would probably be better. Uh, you know, the couch is not necessarily a the the best place for this sort of thing, but yeah, okay, I like it. 
I believe that will end up working for a new camera stand. So I will retire my old one to be used exclusively for the floor cam and we'll move on from there. So thanks so much for watching this quick review and I will see you guys later. Turing Hacker signing out. Bye bye. Turing Hacker back here again, and just when you thought we were done, I was consulting the instructions a little more, and I actually found out exactly what this little piece does. So, you turn it, and presto! It comes apart. How you'd want to do this, I don't really know. The best I can figure out is so you can... Uh, well, I guess it's so you can take your camera out and maybe set it on the counter, but... Potentially, I believe it's so that you can actually put it in a different stand of theirs from Targus and you would be able to screw it back in just fine and just uh, keep on going. But yeah, so that answers that. Other than that, it seems like a pretty good stand. I was independently testing it over on my uh, counter and it was able to stand just fine for somewhere around 20 minutes without any sort of movement at all. So I think this will work out just fine. So thanks for watching again. Turing Hacker signing out. Bye-bye.